In this problem, we need to calculate the reaction forces for the following beam using Macaulay step functions. As you can see here, this is a simply supported beam. We have three pin supports at A, B, and C. And we have here a point load W applied at a distance L halves between A and B. Then first, we can draw the free body diagram of this problem. As you can see, we have three action forces RA, RB, and RC, and we can use the equilibrium equations in order to solve for them. We have that sum of forces in the vertical direction is equal to zero and sum of moments is equal to zero as well. So from this first equation we have that and we can calculate moments for example at point B. Then we have that Then this is equation number one, and this is equation number two, but as you can see here, we have three unknowns. So this is obviously a um, statically undeterminate problem, and we need to look for another, for an additional equation in order to solve it. So we need to look to the deformation of the beam, and we need to find a boundary condition that provides a new relationship between these reaction forces, so the problem says that we need to use Macaulay's step function, so we are going to calculate first what is the distribution of moments for an arbitrary point x, and later we will calculate what are the expressions for the slope, and finally what is the deformation of this beam. So if we define here this point x, we have that the moment is equal to first RA times X. So this R is creating here a moment like this. Then the internal moment distribution is like that. So it goes upwards and we define this as a positive moment. So RA times X, we continue, and at this point, we have that the force W is creating a negative moment. So we have the bracket of Macaulay X minus, this is applied at L half, so L divided by two. At this point, we have the same as before, but now we have also the contribution to the moments of RB and it is positive, so plus RB and it is applied at X equal to L, X minus L, and this is the step function for this force. Then this is the internal moment distribution and now we can use the moment curvature relationship in order to find the expression for the slope and for the deflection of this beam. We know that minus m is equal to ei times the second derivative of the displacement with respect to x. So this is basically the negative of this. Then now, in order to find the slope, we can integrate once and we find that and we can integrate once more in order to find the deflection.
and now we have to determine what are the constants of integration by using boundary conditions. Since we have three pin supports, we know that at x equal to zero, here at point A, the deflection is equal to zero. There is no displacement here. That the displacement at L is also zero. And finally, that the displacement at point C, x equal to, to L, is equal to zero. So we can apply these three conditions from the first one using this equation of course this is zero and all these brackets are zero so we find that b is equal to zero for the second one we have that Note that in this case, this bracket is zero. And now finally, for this last condition, we have that all the brackets are turned on and we have that. Then we have here two additional equations, equation number three and equation number four, that together with equation number one and two form a set of four equations with four unknowns, Ra, Rb, Rc, and the constant of integration A. So this is just simple mathematics, we can rearrange this equation and doing the proper substitutions we find that then these are the reaction forces RA, RB and RC that we were looking for. And finally, just to refresh your minds, we can calculate the shear force and bend the moment diagram. So we can start with the shear force. We have that at this point we start with a positive shear force equal to the reaction force. 13 over 32, and we continue constant. So this is 13 over 32W. And here we have a force applied negative. So we decrease up to here. So this distance is W, and we continue constant until here. And now what we can do is, we know that here at this last point, at point D, we are decreasing by 3 over 32W. So that means that we know that we are finishing at zero. So here we were at 3 over 32W. And we can just finish the diagram. then this distance here is equal to 11 over 16 W. Now we can draw the diagram of moments. Basically, what we have to know here is that dm dx is equal to the shear force. They basically, the shear force is the slope of the moment 
then here we start at zero and we increase with a slope equal to 13 over 32 w and then the value of the moment here is equal to 13 over 32 w times this distance l over 2 and now here we drop off and the slope here is negative we have 13 over 32 w minus w so this is negative so we go here and now from this point we know that we need to reach zero here so we increase with this 3 over 32 slope And we have that the moment here is equal to 3 over 32 W times L.